All right. Let's get this going. Is this on? Okay, yeah. Andrea says she's going to be five minutes late. Okay, then. Uh, she's going to be five minutes late. I'm going to get another example ready. Where is... Hold on a second. I'm missing something. Can't see. Uh, how do I make this bigger? Anyways, let's get this. Okay, so for there's this there's a there's a different use case I kind of want to talk about, uh, and it's kind of like a it's kind of like a entity resolution, but in uh, but kind of like when you only have emails. So I'm gonna say so given uh, so given a target profile and a list of possible uh, profile matches uh, determine which uh, profiles match the target 
target. Uh, put the reasoning step by step. Put notes. Okay, so we're not doing the entity one. And then we're not doing a confidence score. Okay. And then we're saying, uh, so this is the target profile. So the target profile will say it has, let's just do a name. Name is equal to, let's say Jennifer Franklin. And email is just going to make up an email, J Franklin. at gmail.com. Okay, and then we have the uh, possible matches. Uh, and that's going to be Let's just do the check. And let's do username. Seems like Andrew is having problems. Hold on a second. Are folks even. Okay. So Jennifer Franklin at Gmail, Jenny Franklin, Jenny M. Franklin. I want to change this one. Uh, let's 
Let's do Hey, all good. All right, let me get you in. So I've already started doing some use cases. And then I need to add you into the stream. a little bigger. All right, we both fit now. Okay, I think, yeah, I think we're in. All right, so so while you were getting ready, I was um, getting a new use case ready. But actually, mm -hmm. let me catch you up on, on what, what happened last time. Okay, so last time, some interesting things, we, we, we found out some interesting things. Um, so what we were doing was we were trying to create mock data um, where the, the, the basically where the data actually made sense, right? Because we always have, we always had, we got like the any town before. Mm -hmm. um, and so uh, what we told it, it to do, uh, hold on, I, I asked it to generate multiple examples. Um, Okay, so yeah, so, so you know, given a schema, and you fill in all the uh, real values, and real names, right? Um, and then uh, when generating cities, make sure you they are actual cities for a given state. Um, and then wait. Uh, and then I had mm -hmm. another example where I would. Uh, Basically, ask it to pick a pick a year. Oh, I'm like really far out. Okay, this is this is too hard to read. Sorry, I'll just I'll just read you the prompt from here. The last prompt we used was okay. Um, so start by picking a random year between 1930 and 2001, and then pick a name that was common for that year. So that was the the unique thing that we did last week. That was kind of interesting. Um, yeah. So one, it was able to pick a random year, obviously. Uh, and But then after that, it was actually able to pick the most common name for that given year. Hmm. Um, and then uh, when I asked it to pick a random state, it was able to find a real address in that state, uh, as well as like pretty close uh, lat long. Um, uh -huh. So I think that's like, that's maybe uh, the key about the mock data is that like, like yes you can ask it to fill in the schema um but if you really want something uh better you can ask it specifically like first fill in the state then fill in the city because i think maybe what happens is that because city comes first it doesn't like have that um it doesn't have that context to say like oh i need to pick a city in california mm, do, you, do you know what i, I mean see. yeah uh, so yeah. by telling it to first pick a city, because then in the in the reasoning block, right, it reasons and says, okay, first I need to pick a state, and then I pick a city for it. Um, <clears throat> so it's possible that that that's what it's doing. Uh, mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. in retrospect, when I think about the other things, maybe I wouldn't ask it to pick a random year. I think that's probably just easier for us to just put in a loop. Um, mm -hmm. But asking it, let's say, instead of a picking, and then, you know, in a, for a pick a random state, like we can pick a random state and put it into the prompt, right? And say mm -hmm. like, okay, you know, for California, have an address, right? Mm 
Um, mm -hmm. So I think in, in an actual production like thing, a production, we we probably wouldn't ask it to pick a year or a state. Um, but yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We, we might just pick, have it do some more. So um, the question here now is, do you want to try and pick up from where I was playing with yesterday? Or do you want to try a new use case that Scott gave me? Hmm. Oh, the, the, the extracting the entities, is that right? Uh, um, not extraction. So yes, his thing please. is, yeah, so, 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 so Scott requested this. So he's basically saying like, you know, given a, a target profile where it's, it's a pretty small profile. So it's just got name and an email. Uh, what are some possible matches? But the matches don't have emails. The matches actually have like a username from like a social media uh, app that they use, mm -hmm. right? Um, oh, and they have, I see. Right. So, right. so the basic idea is like you know can uh, because in different you know on different platforms you might change your name, you might have your full name, you'll have a different username because it's been taken somewhere, right? Mm -hmm. um, and you know it and on and all of that is like. Uh, yeah. Like a, a possibility or like, hold on a second, I, I want to do this. Um, so that's the other use case that we can try and we can play with that some more. Um, or we mm -hmm. can uh, do more mock data generation. Okay. Any preference? Mm, I suppose with mock data generation, what I'd be curious about is with the uh, the arrays, I guess, the, the relational stuff, you know, um, that's where we could take it, you know, the relational stuff, like, uh, you know, if, uh, give me an, uh, like, uh, this person have this sort of address history, so this person's lived at, you know, location one, two, three, and then generate, uh, a separate objects for each of the address with, you know, um, shape that looks like this. So, you know, it could be like a weather, you know, associated to that location, you know, that sort of things. Yeah, I mean, we um, can definitely do that because I was trying to do something similar. Uh huh. Uh, just by making sure that like the, uh, the values at least like correspond. Mm hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. 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 That that that's pretty similar. Yeah, so Maybe let's... an ID as well, because people, uh, ID generation, make sure they tie to each other. Because, okay. you know, like mock data has like, a lot of times they have IDs in them. And... Well, I mean, we wouldn't have an LLM generate IDs, right? Like we would still, well, we would still tie it together in code to make sure that like the IDs actually. Oh. Yeah, because right. I was thinking if we let the LM generate that, let's say one object for the person object, and then like, you know, let's say five address objects, you know, that, uh, you know, that, that could be, you know, re, uh, that could have the address history within the person. So have that IDs like translate, you know, like an address ID, you know, uh, like one, two, three, four, five for a person. And then, but then give me five objects of their address with the, the IDs. Right. But how is that different from just asking it to, add, like, like, why wouldn't you just ask, ask the LLMs, like, you know, here's, like, generate five addresses for this person ID and just give him, and just give the LLM the person ID. So that way you always have the right person ID. Mm, oh, so you have to have a conversation. No, like, no, no. Is it isn't that just still one shot? Like, uh, you know, given person ID one, two, three, generate five addresses, something like that. Yeah. So I guess I was expecting I'm expecting multiple objects with appropriate IDs that reflect a relationship. But the relationship you've already defined, right? Where this person lives at five addresses? Is, yeah, is that the relationship? Then... Yeah, no, but but usually we would still need an ID field, you know, in a realistic case for for it to be usable, uh, because I think people are interested in the, 
you, you know, in actually using it. And then they usually have IDs in them to make sure things are tied to can tie together. Right, right, right. No, I understand mm -hmm. that. But what I'm saying is, um, okay, well, let's let's just do it, and maybe maybe we'll we'll have a better idea of what you're saying. Mm -hmm. Okay. So what? Uh, so we'll say provide reasoning step by step. All right. So we we don't need this then, right? Mm -hmm. We don't need to pick a state. We don't need to pick. All right. So what's the schema you want to do? Uh. So so this one uh. This one just has like person and then two addresses. Okay, so this is one person. I guess we could work with one person and multiple ad uh addresses. So this 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 is a uh I guess this one kind of works fine, but maybe I would take out the uh the bracket on line seven thirty nine. Uh so it's not okay. multiple people. All oh, right, it's not multiple now. people. <laughs> yeah, and then uh, so then I guess I will leave that in, and then and then generate a separate block for address. Uh, so all together, uh, not in not in the person block. Uh yes, so it's like it's separate objects. Okay, sure. Uh, yeah, I don't know how uh how. Yeah, how do we do it? Oh, sorry. So you would still have like addresses, and then maybe ID like one, two, three, or something like. So, yeah, we type it in. So addresses, and then. Uh, so you want to do address ID, right? Uh yeah, sorry. Let, let me let me uh type it into the Twitch chat. Oh, are you able to copy from Twitch chat? No. Uh, I don't okay. know. It's a good. Okay, so I was I was interested in a person block that looks like, you know, uh I don't know deal like name, uh whatever, and dob whatever, and then addresses that look like. I'll add this ID XYZ something uh, like that. And then a separate object for each address. It would be address ID that looks like XYZ. And then let's say uh city state. Mm. But I I said maybe I would start with this simple one now. So does that make sense to you? Uh I think so. But let's mm -hmm. let me see what addresses. So addresses, uh, so addresses contain address IDs. Yes. Okay, an array of of address IDs. Oh yeah, it could just be array of string in that case. Yeah, array of strings. Okay, I'll just I'll just leave it that. Uh, well, oh, I'll oh. do address. I'll do address IDs. Yeah, address IDs. Okay, yeah. So then this one creates an address and then address ID. Mm -hmm. And then uh and then the next one is also an address and address ID. Like this? Mm -hmm. Yeah, just however many address IDs each one uh should should uh have an object associated to it, yeah. Okay. All right. Let's. Actually, I don't know if this is the right number of brackets and whatnot, but it doesn't seem to. It doesn't seem to phase it if I have the wrong number of brackets. Yeah. <laughs> I know. Very good. <laughs> okay. All right, so it's going to fill out the data. 
<laughs> this is the first time where it's mentioned I'll, I will use the California address database. <laughs> I just is the ASF from the housing. Okay. So so you got John Michael Smith, right? Okay. Has two addresses, one and two. Uh-huh. Right? So address one. Yeah. Is this one? Address two is this one. Is that what you mean? Yes, yes. Oh, it generates two. Do you think it generates two because we gave it two? Oh, I I just curious. Because in a prompt, I think we gave two, like addresses, mm -hmm. in the address object. Is that, we or we could try. generate? I guess maybe we generate again and see. Yeah. Uh. Oh, okay. Yeah. Let's just do the regenerate. Uh. See if that. Well, because you're right. In, in the schema that we gave it, it had two addresses. Mm hmm. Right. So. Uh. I'm sure is that we want to. <laughs> Well, actually, let me double check the, okay, so yeah, this, yeah, so we did put it in a, yeah, in, a, in an array here, so mm -hmm. it, it, it technically, right, so like we know that this could generate more. Mm -hmm. Do We could put it in the prompt, uh, provide additional notes. Uh, oh, so, so 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 I, I, I could say um, pick a random number from one to ten uh, then uh, so that is the number of addresses the mm -hmm. person has uh, create that many address blocks mm -hmm. right so that yeah. way that way even though the, uh, mm -hmm. so the schema only has uh cool. has two in the example but we'll see if it can create more so yeah this time it, it still created two all right so let's see if it will create more mm -hmm. all right Let's have a reason, pick some names. Let's see. Uh, Turn number of addresses to generate. Okay, so that's what it, it says. It says it's gonna do it. Let's see if it does it. Mm -hmm. It's got it's got lots of notes. It's like look at all these yeah, APIs I'm yeah. using. <laughs> I'm using it, yeah. <laughs> all right. It oh okay. So it it has three. Oh okay. Oh, it's waiting. <laughs> uh oh. Oh, is, is is it good? Did it run out of tokens? Yeah. Oh. Uh, no, no, no. Uh, it's just it's just slow. It's just slow. Okay, so oh. now do California. One, two, two, three. Yeah, there you go. Yay! Hey. Okay. I, okay, good. <laughs> All right. So if that was let's just regenerate it. Make sure it wasn't a fluke, uh, and see if mm -hmm. it gives a different number besides three. Okay. Um, but 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 that's what you wanted, right? You wanted to have it yes, see that's what I want. like, hey, you know, generate X number of IDs and then generate X number of, of blocks for uh -huh. each ID. Yeah, yeah. This is the first time it's talked about XML format. <laughs> hmm, yeah. XML to dict. So funny. Oh, this is a new name. I don't think I've ever had it. I don't think it's ever created Judith Marie Garza. All right, it still chose three. Oh, Monty. Rose me. It's in LA. Yeah, well, it did it. Okay. Okay. But it's, I guess, yeah, it just, it just chose a, a close address, which is. Mm -hmm. it, are these two cities close to each other? 
Yeah, yeah. Uh, the, does Valley Boulevard go through might. it? Oh, yeah. I think so. <laughs> I think yeah. so, okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, yeah. That's pretty I good. Mean... That's all right. Yeah, so... Yeah. So... yeah. Let's go, go ahead. Oh, no, I imagine this is actually going to be really useful because, you know, people are interested. In... When I tell them about the mock data, they're like, oh, the first that's the first thing they ask. Like, can it generate relational data? And because they, you know, um, they sort of need to create like a system of, you know, that link to each other, you know, like, so when you have something for UI, they can click it and then be able to take you to that page. And obviously you need to have data for that to back up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right, right, right. Yeah, yeah, especially, yeah, especially for the, you know, uh, yeah, with the mock data, you know, they do a lot of ETL, right? They join a lot. So then you sort of hope your mock data is convenient and set up so they join, you know, meaningfully. <laughs> yeah. Right, right, right. With the IDs. Yeah, yeah. So it's good. Okay. Yay. That is good. Yeah. Oh, yeah. some of the other things you missed. Uh, last time is that it, it, it did a good job picking nicknames hmm. for uh for yeah for, I saw the, the JD you know like oh, you saw that? yeah yeah yeah, yeah I, that's like, that's actually pretty I, I thought yeah. that was also very interesting that that sometimes it picked it just took the initials uh and it didn't seem like it always did that you know like this time it did Judy uh and Judy. yeah it seems like you have a good prompting here because I remember previously it was just like a smithy you know like johnny smithy, you know, like, yeah <laughs> it's like very like okay uh, but <laughs> we basic. we didn't prompt any any that much differently right it's just like you uh fill in the mm. values with real we just say real data that's all we mm. said mm. so so may, maybe that's it <laughs> mm. okay not realistic but real yeah <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I'm happy with the mock data right now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think I think if we have some other examples, we we can also um, ask other folks if they if they have any requests. Just like Scott has a request for mm -hmm. the next thing, so let's let's consider this as checked, and let's move over to I guess it was a uh, the other one. So Scott was requesting like a um, an entity resolution, but like. Uh, a different, a very different use case for it. Mm -hmm. um, so let me show you what, what he was saying. Okay. So what he's saying is that like, uh, you know, um, so given uh, a, a small, a small profile with, um, with, I mean, with either with name or without, but basically that the target profile has one field uh, but the possible matches have a different field. So, so cause, cause you know how, like, you know, for a human, you might say like, well, you know, this email is pretty close to this username. So it's probably the same person. Mm -hmm. Right. Uh, mm -hmm. but then like a human might look at this and be like, well, the username is very similar, but the last name is not. So this one's mm -hmm. probably not the same Jennifer. They mm -hmm. just, because you can pick whatever username, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Or like, yeah, or like this one where it's just like, oh, the username is so close to the email, but the name is backwards. Mm -hmm. All right, so this is probably correct. All right, this is probably um, a match, mm -hmm. right? And I think I wanted to try... Uh, and I want to. I want. I want. I want to change this one. Okay, so I want to change this one uh, to a different number. And uh, and, the, and maybe just get rid of this, right? So you know, it's very common for people to pick a different birthday, or, or use mm -hmm. their birthday or birth year, right, as numbers. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. So so that's kind of like what I wanted to, to try out because. Uh, so the use case here is that um, you know when you are when you only have limited uh, when you only have limited fields and they are different fields, right? Mm -hmm. It's you 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 can't do like a very 
uh, strict entity resolution process. You have mm -hmm. to just make like a best guess. Mm -hmm. Right. And any sort of mm -hmm. like regex matching is not going to be that great. So, mm -hmm. so Scott was, was thinking that, you know, hopefully like an LLM will have more, will do more of like a intuitive guessing. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. So let's, let's take a look to see what, what it could do. Possible match. Oh, okay. Oh, oh wow, it's being very strict in its matching. Very, very strict, yeah. Okay. Potential. Oh, well, this time it matched it. It said it matched. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's a because that's the exact one, one right, guys? Uh, the username. Oh, wow, it's pretty strict. Yeah. Okay, so I think we might need some better prompting. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, given a profile and a list of possible matches. Which, uh, which profiles? Could be possible yeah, like... matches, uh, matches to to the target. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah. Okay, let's just do that. Okay, yeah, this is much better, right? So mm -hmm. one match, Jenny, Jay Franklin. Jenny could be a nickname for Jennifer. Mm -hmm. uh, last name matches exactly. Username Jay Franklin is similar to Target's email, but without the birth year, this is a possible match. Okay, see, like that's that's really good. Uh, match two, Jenny M. Franklin and Franklin. Similar to match one, Jenny could be a nickname. Yep. However, the middle nation is not present in Target. Profile, the last name Franklin matches exactly. Uh, username oh. Franklin does not match target's email username. This is less likely match. Hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I, I, I would have said yes, yeah. but okay. It's <laughs> yeah. Match number three, Jen Smith and Jen mm -hmm. F. First this name is Jen is short form of Jennifer, matches the profile. However, last name Smith does not match. And target profile's last name Franklin. Uh, and birth year, but does not contain the last name Franklin. This is less likely a match. Yep. I like that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The order of the first last name is reversed. Okay, so I got that compared to the target yeah. profile. However, the first name Jenny could be a nickname for Jennifer. And the last name Franklin matches exactly. Matches target email exactly. This is a possible match. Excellent. Mm -hmm. First name Jennifer matches exactly. Last name Franklin also matches exactly. The username, however, does not match the targets. The birth year, oh, it got it. The birth year 1993 does not match does the target. Match yeah. Emails birthday. That's see, that's pretty amazing. That's good. Yeah. Because right? there was no, there's no birthday field. It's just in the yeah. email itself. No. It yeah, infers as a birthday, you know. Yeah, and it infers yeah, or a birth year yeah. So. Birth year yeah. So yeah, so, so it has some like human-like intuition, which is kind of yeah. creepy. <laughs> right? we... it's, it's kind of creepy, but it, yeah. <laughs> birthday, birth year. Right? That's yeah. that's a pretty impressive human level intuition. Um, yeah. In order to do that. Uh, yeah, consider variation in names, uh, middle initials, including yeah, it just has lots of notes. <laughs> I like that. You know, I like how it kind of ranks as well. What they what they think, you know, is okay. most likely and then less likely. Uh, 
Yeah. Uh, well, hold on a second. So one and four, let's just double check. One and four so one are the most likely. And Jay Franklin. four. Yeah, four. that's right. Uh -huh. Yeah. And the other ones are less likely. Uh, actually, I would disagree. I would say that this but one is, very, is more likely, but it, it doesn't uh -huh. think so. Yeah, it is a little general. Oh, well, y yeah. With like I the username know. just as Franklin instead of J Franklin? Or, or <laughs> instead yeah. of... Yeah. I mean, it's it's hard to tell, right? Because it is just... And this one has, a, has like a middle name to it. So... Uh -huh. uh, but yeah. Oh, I'm four. I would have liked it to say that, you know, Jenny M. Franklin is... Uh, is very likely a match for Jennifer Franklin. It, yeah. Just because it has an extra middle initial doesn't make it not a match. Yeah. But it's it's fine. I would say that you know the fact that it was able to do this. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I think I think this. I, so so it's it's hard to tell um, how we would. Like, like like right now actually i want to just regen right now because like you know when you're just playing with it on po like it's really hard to tell like how good is it actually going to be in production right mm -hmm. um because i think you know just by us like reading it like it sounds like it's probably better than some sort of regex that you can do mm -hmm. um certainly easier <laughs> certainly easier <laughs> <laughs> just just tell it in English what you want and it's <laughs> and it's able to, to, to do it right well I, I mean it, it, it seems easier but we haven't actually you know actually put this in in, in like a pipeline thing to, to do it mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, and also this is kind of slow and I don't know mm -hmm. how fast it needs to be for mm -hmm. Scott's use case yeah yeah because he's probably he's probably trying to try and do this pretty quickly. Oh um, yeah. But yeah, that is true. Yeah. Yeah, but it is an interesting use case here, right? Uh, mm -hmm. Where it's like a very very limited entity resolution, right? Like, how do you do entity mm -hmm. resolution when you have like very little data? Mm-hmm. Um, Candidates so are the yeah reasonably sized. Yeah. And and I think yeah. that's and I think the other key here, the other key difference that I really like I said that the the uh, the birth year in the username and emails, like, you wouldn't be able to do, do that programmatically. Mm -hmm. No. Right? Yeah. We could try. Yeah. So so it looks like it did well again. Uh. So yes, the script is. It, oh, uh, actually, this time we got it. It said, match two is a possible match, uh, but less certainty. <laughs> middle initial discrepancy yeah. yeah and then match three is unlikely so that's correct match four is possible match mm -hmm. that's right mm -hmm. and match five is unlikely okay yeah so this time it did better i would say mm -hmm. yeah i have to do a yeah a couple times but of course maybe we don't need to do it perfect right like i don't know <laughs> it depends on the use case yeah, 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 yeah. I think I think it it does, yeah it doesn't have to be perfect. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah, I'm also wondering actually. So I want to try something else where mm -hmm. I want to give it even less data. So I, I want to take the a very the same thing, but I'm just gonna delete the name. Mm hmm. And, and then, all right, so then I'm going to do, so this one's J Franklin, that's fine. This one's, this one's just Franklin. I want to do Gen S, no, uh, Gen, uh, uh, yeah. And did we have, we have this one, this one just matches exactly. So I don't, I don't know if I want to do an exact match. Right, like this. 
Mm-hmm. Uh, I mean, maybe I'll just keep it for now. And then this one is, mm-hmm. has, a, has a different year. Mm-hmm. So this one's Gen M. So I'm thinking to myself, like, the reason why I put that is, like, is possibly because it's just a different last name. Mm-hmm. Oh, now here, I want to do, oh, I want to do, I want to do this. Yeah, okay. So this changes it, right? Because we would still think that this email probably still goes with this username. Yeah. Yeah. Seems like uh, that would. Right. And then. Okay. All right. Let's give this a try. All right, so match one, Jay Franklin. This is a possible match. That's right. Uh, first last name. Yep. However, it does not include any references to the year, which is a part of Target's email. Look, it got the year. Okay, mm-hmm. match two, Franklin. This username is a possible match. Yep, because it includes the Target's last name, Franklin. Uh, however, it does not... See, this is a... that's actually really interesting. Right? Because... Oh, no, no, no. We did have last name. We did have name in the, the input. However, it does not include any references to the target's first name or the year, which is part of the target's email. But I still think it's, it's possible. Mm-hmm. Okay. Possible. This username is possible match because it includes the first target name showing to Jen mm-hmm. and the year, okay. which is part of Jen. However, it does not include targets. Ah, okay. So it didn't get, it just ignored the M uh-huh. in there. Next one. This username is a possible match. Includes the first full name. No, it doesn't. No, no, it doesn't. <laughs> this username uh, is possible because it includes the target's full first name, artist. Jennifer. Yeah. It does not. <laughs> no. Okay. <laughs> so let's see which it is not a match. Part. Because it includes target's last name, but the year does not match. Okay. So it hallucinated this, mm-hmm. uh, this part. So that's a little weird. And, mm-hmm. and it, I don't, so I, I want to redo this one. So let's say, let's do, uh, oh, I know. Let's do, let's do uh, capital J, like J, Jen, and then, um, and then P, I'm just going to pick a random letter. Mm. So like, 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 so surprisingly, right? Just like humans. When we when we see capitals, like we differentiate them, and I think mm-hmm. LLMs do the same thing. Mm-hmm. Where like when they see a capital letter, it they, oh, I see what, like it may think it's like an initial, like more of a hint or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like it actually reads it as if it, you know, yeah. is a capital letter, and yeah, uh, because the capital letters and the lowercase letters have different tokens. Hmm. Uh, Although yeah, even for for me, I, it it would be hard for me to say if P is a last name or middle initial, you know. <laughs> like, or yeah, it's true. It's true. It, um, it is a kind of ambiguous, yeah. Um, yeah, but I at least wanted to recognize that like the P is there. It's a, something else, yeah. Yeah. Gen P. Yeah, and short Gen, you know, but it didn't talk about P. It didn't, yeah, it didn't talk about the P there. Yeah. All right, so let's see, is a possible match? It's a possible match. It's, it's, it thinks this one's a possible match. Yep. And this one is not a possible match. Yeah, so I can't, I can't get it to, uh, huh. Maybe, okay. I, I, really, I really want to, to sort of get it to like to to really like see that this is like something different mm-hmm. you wanted to to call out right yeah this yeah key. yeah yeah i wanted to, to call out that like hey you know yeah this could be jennifer p and jennifer p is not jennifer f mm-hmm. right so mm-hmm. like if it were jennifer f i was like okay maybe it's the same jennifer Right. So, or is P maybe not differentiated enough? 
Uh, I get yeah, it. P is like. Four, this is, um, I think it feels fine. Yeah. All right. Let's let's try again. Oh, what happened? Is it just freaking out? Okay, here we go. All right, so Jay Franklin is a possible match. Yep, so that's that's good. Two Franklin is a direct match. Uh, oh, the um, last part of the username P does not match the best name before it is not like being match. Ah, there we go. We got it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. A P. <laughs> the capitalizations matter, I guess, right? The inputs. <laughs> well, this well, no. Last time it was Jen P, so I did Jennifer P. Jennifer P. Because Jennifer is the full name, right? So that's why mm. I think that might have that might have made the difference. Mm, not the caps, not the caps. Maybe not the caps. Yeah, it's hard to tell. Mm -hmm. Uh. But yeah, okay. But it got it got the other use cases. Yeah. Yeah. So, so yeah, I think this is, this is probably a very good. compelling, compelling use case. Use uh, case as well. Yeah. And I think, I think more generally, um, let's, let, let's check mm -hmm. this off and let's maybe talk about some of the lessons learned. So mm -hmm. the way I'm seeing this is that like, when you have very little data, the LLM is still actually very good at extracting like the little amount that it has. Mm-hmm. Right, like the initials, the last name, the first name, the nickname, the birth year, right? Uh, and, and also like, you know, it, it looks at the email, recognizes that it's an email. So it doesn't, you know, it doesn't say, oh, this doesn't match at Gmail, right? Like it doesn't, mm -hmm. it doesn't try to match that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right. Uh, so, yeah. Yeah, I think... I don't know what other use cases there are for like scenarios where you have like very little data, mm -hmm. but it does give us like some confidence that like in any of these scenarios where we have very little data and we're trying to do like a mini entity resolution, like mm -hmm. it, we we have some confidence that like it could probably do pretty well. We can do it, yeah. yeah it seems like that, right, yeah. It seems to be able to even for the one the the exercise we did before as well, right? Like current build, last build, and ground truth is able to make comparisons. Like which one is better? You know, like um. Well, I guess this one not this one probably is slightly more straightforward. It's like one way comparison, but I was like, wow, if you can do the 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 two way comparison or even three way, if you're like. You know, it's like, it's really good. Mm. Yeah. Oh, wait. When you say three-way comparison. Yeah. Let's say, actually. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wait, wait. Let's say we did this. Let's say we take away name from the target. So the target just has email. Mm. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like it's like really hard, right? It's like a, just but, a distance. I don't know what it was at. Huh? No, no, no. But the possible matches but, have yes. name. Oh. So now. So I, I, I mean, maybe you, you can tell me how, how you feel about it. Uh, but I'm gonna, <laughs> I, I'm, I'm gonna add the names to all of these. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna add all the names to this. Hold on, and then I'm gonna add. Okay, uh, so so this one's still gonna be Jennifer Franklin. Uh, this one I'm gonna change to Jenny Franklin. This one I'm gonna change to Jenny uh, Parker, Jennifer Parker. Maybe that's too obvious. I don't know, okay. Uh, oh, no, no, no. Uh, I'm gonna change this one to A Jennifer P. P. Franklin. P. Franklin. Uh -huh. And then uh, this one, I'm going to change to Jennifer. Uh, give me a, na a name that starts with P. <laughs> uh, I'm going to say Pearl. Yeah. Okay. All right. So when a human 
I, I, actually, um, I, don't, I guess I'll just say when I look at this, right, I'm going to say, oh, okay, so the, this, this, pers this email, uh, when I look at all of these, across all of these, right, uh, I'm clearly looking at, you know, a Jennifer Franklin, right? Um, mm -hmm. And then I learned that maybe it's Jennifer Pearl Franklin. Maybe she has a middle name. Mm -hmm. And so, so that's why um, I would accept Jennifer P now as a username. Mm-hmm. Right. Uh Oh, you think it's like a sequence sort of thing, like uh, because it can, it may evaluate, it may get to Pearl and like, oh, peas. Yeah, like, yeah, exactly. Like yeah, 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 yeah. Like, oh, like okay. could it could it do that sequence, right? Could, but, uh -huh. but so so instead, so you know, when you said three way uh, comparisons, that's what I was thinking about. Like, it's not just compare one to one, and then one to two. Can it compare one to all of these? Right, and then make mm -hmm. and then do that that sort of rational thinking. Okay. Right, because if if you think about it, that's kind of like how when we do um. You know, it's not just record to record. It's like it does like record to profile after it looks at all of the pro uh, after it looks at all the records. Mm -hmm. Got it. So yeah, yeah. So so a little bit like a sequential. The sequence matter, right? Kind of builds. On top. The determination of the next, it's not independent, right? We're kind of right. just checking. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, well, uh, but, 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 no, but you tell me, like, you know, when you look at possible matches, do mm -hmm. you use the possible matches to build your world knowledge of this of when you only have an email? Yeah, I think it's as a human, yeah, I think that's inevitable. You know, for example, if someone sneak in a John, you know, like or like and then I keep seeing a couple of John I'm like, oh, yeah, sure, you know, it could be John too, you know. Yeah, yeah, it's possible. Yeah. Yeah, possible. Let's 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 give this a try, see what happens. It's just like how you kind of read, right? Read a story like, yeah, 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 you know, like <laughs> In, it kind of influences your decision as you keep going. And you're like, oh, am I being consistent, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it doesn't do that. It doesn't, it doesn't do that. Mm -hmm. It doesn't say that, hey, this P could be possibly P Pearl. Mm -hmm. So... Oh well. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't really try to see. Oh, if it's a, like a a middle name, right? Even mm -hmm. with the pearl case. Yeah. Wait, wait. Did I copy it correctly? Oh, yeah, I did. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. Making sure. Yeah. No. That is. You know, actually, middle names or some people they go by middle names, right? So. Right. But maybe it is more rare. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, we, we, we can maybe play with this next time as well. Uh, but the idea mm -hmm. of like, so, so, so this is maybe something that I guess my takeaway from this is that like, you know, when, when a human sees a target profile and possible matches, a human will sort of build on their world knowledge and be influenced by the possible matches that they see. Right? Uh, mm -hmm. whereas the LLM is not influenced by that. And I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Mm -hmm. uh, so, yeah. Yeah, I don't think it's a bad thing. It's just different. Uh, uh, yeah. I think maybe, like, if I do it on different days, I might <laughs> go one way. <laughs> and Yeah. You know? Uh, yeah. <laughs> but... But yeah, that's interesting. I I don't know if we would ever want it to sort of like build on top of it. Build yeah. on top of it. I think I feel like that's probably... complicated. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah, I mean it's it is interesting, right? Mm-hmm. So 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 oh oh actually so well we don't have too much time, uh, but we we can maybe play with this some more uh, next time and like change mm -hmm. the names to be like clearly somebody else. And get, and get some more like other like data in there and see, see if it can sort of dissect like the difference. Mm -hmm.
Yeah. Yeah. Right. So. Cool. All right. Cool. Yeah. Is there anything else that you want to chat about? Uh, no, there are a lot of other use cases of like, but it's not necessarily like, uh, like mock data related or entity resolution related. There's stuff I was thinking about like reporting, but maybe that's more like, you know, like a, like solved or known, like given, you know, this kind of report, um, can you summer, can you just like, you know, summarize this ticket in, uh, you know, a, a layman's, uh, you know, language. <laughs> so I understand, like summarization. Yeah. 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 Well, summarization yeah, has good. been proven that it can do that. I'm not sure. Yeah. But then, but so the the hardest thing about summarization is that that means that I need to write a really long paragraph into the here for it to summarize. <laughs> yeah yeah and that's really boring on stream <laughs> yeah it is very boring you know like uh, there's some but there are definitely use cases that i don't know if they do a you know great job either but but i mean they still do do it it's just like you know there's like a lot of jira tickets right like from other teams and then mm -hmm. you're like what, what the hell is going on like it's not well right because some tickets are not well written and then it goes into the release note and then you have to pre prepare oh it goes into the release and then someone has to prepare a release note right to make sense of it and yeah. uh yeah so it's actually a pain point like i don't jira doesn't have that functionality right now like summarizing tickets but uh oh it does yeah it, it, i was it has <laughs> It has the yeah. confluence AI. Have you played with that? It has the confluence, but not the so 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 it was like um so I saw somebody right like uh the, in the release our release like they have like you know tickets all laid out right and I'm like and I was hoping that the confluence AI would be able to at least from the titles of the tickets right the embedded titles like tell me what's going on but it doesn't you know oh. it's not that it doesn't it doesn't do that yet it doesn't do that yet. <laughs> I feel oh, like wow. it, it will do that maybe like one day, but but it will be immensely helpful <laughs> to have a summary of like yeah. what changed because it's really difficult to go into every team's, you know, mess, right? And to <laughs> and understand what's going on. Yeah, it's really hard to summarize actually. I'm surprised Alasan hasn't like done that yet. Like that that's such a clear yeah. use case. Yeah. Like, how how did they not think of that? Yeah, yes. yeah, like a, a release board summarizes. Yeah. Anyways, cool. All right. Uh, oh. Happy Friday. Happy uh, Lunar New Year. Oh, yeah. Happy New Year. <laughs> yeah, I almost forgotten. But All right. It's All right, Chinese folks. Year. <laughs> we'll see you All Wednesday. Right. See ya. Bye. Yeah, bye.